we are going to make a wall clock. So we're going to have these push pins. So we have the minute and the hour hand. We have all these. We're going to put the numbers. We have the scissors. We have these push pins. Put this together. We don't need tape. We don't need glue. We have all the acrylic paint. The brush to make all the numbers. And also to color the clock. So let's start. The red! What? Okay, I'll okay, be red. So we're going to get everything off. We're going to use the red one. Red one. We are not using that paint. We are using these ones. We are using this. We are using this one, not that one. We're gonna make like a kind of mountain. Um, let's see, here we have the brush. Make a red and make more red. You make a number one. Take red all around it. Red one and red one is done. So we have much of the cardboard done. We just need to have this and then we are all done with the color. And then we can start working on the numbers. We're now done with the clock. Now we're just going to wait for it to dry. So then we can put on the, the numbers that are going to be here. That are going to be the color. Orange. It is orange. orange. We are going to carefully put it on the cap. A cap. And I put it on the side. A side of the cloth. Take some from here. Put it on a little bit of the sides. Other side is the color of the cloth. One is done. One is done. Take it again. Orange. orange. So we have orange. three of them that are orange. 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 Orange is the color of that. The table, instead of being white, it is getting red and orange, but until we add more colors, it's going to have more colors. Mm -hmm. what is, hey, what is the next color? Yellow. Okay. So we have the color yellow right here. And oh, let's put on the wait. yellow. We just turn it like this on the table. And there's some the yellow. What color is the clock? Paint the color. color the What's color of the clock? And the pretty triangle was the color. Now we have orange and yellow. Wait, okay, what's the next color? Green. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now what is the color green? That one? Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see, this is opening green. right here. Okay, oh, we have the color green. We're going to take it just like this. Mm -hmm. We took it just a little bit. It's enough. It is enough, enough, enough to make it look green. Mm, that's like, you want it to be mm. really green. Like this. Mm. And then we take a few more. Mm. And we put it on the sides. Right mm. here. And it looks totally green right there. Totally green. Oh, now we amazing. finished the green. Hey, what's the next color? P purple. Here's purple. Okay, where's opening? Here it is. Let's open it. The purple's the best color of all of them. 
Hey, Rusty's. This one. And now we're just going to lick all of them. We're first done with the top them. We of course need to do the sides because then we only have on the top. Now we finished painting the twelve, the twelve milk caps. Now we are going to color the the arrows. So we have the clock hands, the minute hand, and going to be the hour hand. Yes. And here's number 13. We have some behind the scenes happening here. There's Barbara next color. Now after waiting for all of these colors to be dry, we are going to put the numbers on them. So here's going to be. Okay, now we're done with the one. Let's go to number two. So we're gonna have a lot. Ooh. Okay, now we're done. Two. Now let's do three. So we start here. Let's make a small one first. Then make sure you use the other one. Make it big. Now we're at four. Let's make it bold. Green seven, seven, eight, and nine. We have eleven, and the last yellow number twelve. So we're going to first put the ink out, then we're going to go down. Until it's really bold. Now let's keep making this one because, yep, yeah, that is not straight. And let's do the two. Let's make it a little bit more bold. Now we are done with all of the numbers one, two, twelve. So now we're going to get our hot glue gun, put it here. We're going to then take our push pins and pin these. Here we have 12. Goes on the top. And to make it more secure, we'll put some on the side. The glue gun is nice. Here we have the number six. Now we are going to put the number three right here. So, uh, so what we do is that we just look on the side and we put glue because then it doesn't go from the outside and look very bad. Now we will put it right here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> Now for number nine. So we don't put a lot of pressure on the glue gun because we don't want a lot of glue. And we do full circle. Take it up like this so we can move our hand. Now we're gonna put the number nine. So Now we're going to put all of the other numbers in the gaps. Now we put all the numbers, we need to put the clock itself. That's going to turn, 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 turn. Now we will put this pin in the middle because then we can interact with the hands. Right now, the time is 3 o'clock. 
because big hand is on the 12 and the small hand is on the three. So the big hand is on the 12. That makes the sound o'clock. And if you want to interact with these, you hold the pin and you can move it. So right now let's make it at, uh oh, we cannot make it at 12 o'clock itself. Well, we can if we do this, and now you can't see it. You only see these. And it is 12 o'clock. <laughs> it is 12 o'clock in the morning. Uh-oh, it's bedtime. Thank you for watching. Bye. I'm going to go in my bed.